Hey everybody, another episode of On the Paint Table. This is my weekly show where you see what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So, this week I painted one model for my Horus Heresy collection. I finished my Demos Pattern Rhino. Uh, I finished nine miniatures for Bot War 2 Turbo Edition from the new starter set, uh, and four models for my Morats. Also got project work done uh, on my I guess biggest addition to my Raven Guard army, which is the Horse of the Primarch, uh, and some more stuff um, sort of like upcoming, along with a cool new sneak peek that Catalyst Game Lab sent along that I'll kind of fill you in right now. You can watch the review for today as well. So let's take a look at what got done and what is coming up. So first things first, here is my Demos Pattern Rhino. All done up for my Raven Guard. Now it's done in my usual paint uh, scheme for these guys. I've got some black primer, followed by a Corvus black airbrush, and then uh, Mornfang brown. Uh, you can see here as the sort of like dust coating on the bottom there, with a little bit of gold fag brown. Then a gold fag brown uh, dry paint, dry brush for the tracks, to give it that nice kind of like dirtied up look on the bottom. Uh, I used gray sear uh, for the base coat there on the door. Highlighted up to white scar, I think is the name of the white paint now, <laughs> and then some um, I think it was uh, Brazen Brass and um, Iron Warriors for the base coats and all metallics, a bit of uh, Null and Oil Gloss, which I'm now rationing as it's going away, uh, and then decals and details afterwards. It's a great, man, I gotta tell you, <laughs> I, I've painted so many rhinos in my life that I could almost do it in my sleep. I think I did, after the airbrushing was done, like the base coats and washes had dried, uh, I it probably took me like 45 minutes to paint this thing. It's so so quick and easy to paint a rhino, just cut out the panels and doing weathering. I, I've painted like every single rhino, I think, since I was 20 years old, mostly the same way. But it looks great. I love the Demos pattern and the homage to the original Mark I rhino. Um, and it was super fun to add to my army. Put the multi-melt on the top there, some smoke launchers, twin like bolters, um, and it, uh, it did some, some good work in the game. And then I broke out my contrast paints for some Bot War II Turbo Edition. Um, these are the Valiant half of the starter set, uh, led by, um, it's uh, Ducal there. He's the basically like the Gandalf the White version of General Duke, who is uh, like come back with extra mega superpower. And he was done in White Scar as a primer. Um, I used the, oh god, uh, whatever the gray, Soul, no, not Soul Blight. Mm, Gravelord's Gray? <laughs> whatever the one is. It's supposed to be Vampire Skin. Um, maybe it is Soul Blight Gray. Uh, and then the new, like, Pale Blue as well on the, on the back there. Um, that's the Night Haunt Glow, I think it's called. As a base coat, picked out all the edges with white again, mixed a little white into the Soul Blight to make the cape all... Um, faded and transparent and then a little black legion i think is the new one on the gun and then just picked out details those are um sterling battlemire with a thin 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 wash of abaddon black in the middle there for the shadow um and then dry brush to the edges with baneblade brown and screaming skull tufts are winter tufts and uh arctic tufts from gamergrass and then the rest done in other various uh, greens. This is, I think, Striking Scorpion, the new green. It's so bright and saturated. These contrast paints are so perfect for like that Saturday morning cartoon look that this is going for. Um, I need to dump all six Valiants. There's Herbs. Herbie the Love Bug, which I gave some white stripes to, and I almost put the, the number that I think it was, was it double zero? What was the number on Herbie the Love Bug? I should have thought of that and actually painted on the hood. That would have been awesome. But his name's Herbs. Um, and uh, he was done up in the... Oh, there's like three brand new greens. This one is the orc one. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the orcs. The Cruel Boys. Cruel Boys green. Um, and then this one's done up in the Stormfiend blue. And then all of them have had just white mixed in the contrast paint. So I could pick out the panel edges and stuff like that and give them a nice highlight. And yeah, and then have my details done. And this one is the new yellow. You can see it's a very... I like these a taxi cab. He has checkers and stuff on him too. So I did him in um, the new contrast yellow over the white primer. And that's like Corvus Black with a, a white wash, Iron Warrior for the elbow pads and stuff like that. Uh, his name's Traffic Stop. <laughs> uh, and then now because um, Rob and I are going to be playing the new campaign system, the Botware campaign system, it allows for allies. And I just happen to have three democracy vehicles to paint up. Now, these don't come in the search sets. So don't look for them in there. But it was a cool feature to round out a full 80 points. It's about 70 points per side um, for a standard 80-point game in the, uh, the box set here. 
Now, I wanted to have some options and I figured it'd be cool to use the allies, so I painted up Big Bear, Airblade, and Sentinel, I think the last one's name is. Uh, the three like transforming cars that go and fight as some allies and stuff too. Again, all in uh, contrast paints. I think the only old contrast paint I used was Volturnus Pink. Vol Volturnus Pink? Whatever the pink is on Big Bear. Um, and uh, and now I've got some, some human allies to basically hang out with my Valiants uh, for some bot where I'm going to record this weekend. And then I rounded off the week with the most professional army in the galaxy, my Morats. Um, I painted up three of my like laundry lists. I had 20 models uh, primed and ready to go. Um, that I wanted to paint up from the classic Morats. I've got my uh, Anyat all, all painted up. Uh, she's a specialist character. And then two Suryats. I did the um, MSV-1 rocket launcher, which is a great miniature, and a HMG. Um, who could also be a lieutenant option. If I don't want to take Kornak, I can take him. And he has the double LT, and there's lots of NCO to go around as well. Um, and then the Bull Track, the brand new Sciocast uh, plastic tag. Uh, and these were done the same way as the previous ones. If you missed that episode, um, I'm going to be overviewing the paint scheme for these guys. And also the brand new paint company that I used to paint all of them. All the paints on here, except for the Sterling Battlemire on the bases and the, um, the whatchamacallit, the Tufts, which are um, gamer grass, uh, is all from this new paint company that I basically, I wanted to do a project with to like try them out before I put them on Witches and Wonders. And uh, yeah, they are nice. Nice, strong pigments, lots of fun, different things. Like that, that green metallic on the knife or on the sword blade there is all them. Um, and the paint's really interesting because you can thin, the, thin them into glazes. So like the weapons here, I did all of this from a uh, dark gray primer that I dry brushed with those paints and then like glazed down. Uh, I did some weird painting styles here, uh, and I'm very happy with the results. So there it is, another four models added to my Morats. I'm going to play a game with them this weekend against Jordan. I got six models in my coming up pile. I need to paint um, my Kurgats, uh, my um, extra Vanguard, my new <coughs> Yaogats, and my old Yaogat sniper rifle, because I want to have an example of both in the list. Um, and then I got some stuff for my various other factions. I want to do my Shinobu. She's so cool, Shinobu Kitsune, the Oniwaban, with the, the cool extra hat for my uh, JSA. We've got the new Spitfire knock-in for my Winter 4, and then a blue coat. I love this ADH um, uh, blue coat, who's also got uh, a bunch of different options and a biometric visor. So there's a space cop to hang out in my O12. So lots of cool stuff coming up for Infinity. Then I got my airbrushing all done on Korax. You can see I did my... Um, light airbrushing with the Corvus Black, the Morn Fang Brown, um, and the Morger Brown, I think, or maybe Gold Fang Brown, I can't remember which one it is. I'm um, just get him all ready to rock and roll and get him on the table. I'm excited to have a Primark, um, and uh, yeah, and I'm excited to get some paint on this guy and see how I do with him. It's a big model, it's a bit fiddly to paint, but I am pretty confident. I mean, it's black and gray and silver. It's pretty hard to screw up. That should be okay. We'll see if I get it on my next week. And then I got my paintathon project. I'm super pumped for this. I wanted to try out the new contrast paints on some uh, newer miniatures. I'm going to start painting my squats uh, using the new contrast. So I'm going to prime white scar tonight. I'm going to build this guy, which uh, Games Workshop was kind of to sound along as a, a complimentary review sample is the new Vartijan Exo Driller, the Brute for these guys. So I've got a big guy too. The only way I'm affording him in my starting list though is if I uh, significantly scale back on the heavy carapace armor for these guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean him, get him all washed and in a bath, and then have everybody prime with some white scar for the paint-a-thon happening tomorrow uh, on Twitch. I'm gonna hang out and watch everybody paint and try and get these five miniatures finished in like one session if I can. It's gonna be fun. And some cool fun stuff came in from Modiphius. We got the robots, the Mr. Handy Pack. I like that he's wearing a bowler hat and uh, can light your cigar for you. <laughs> this is a three pack of Mr. Handies, um, ready to go and uh, you know help you out or be just bad guys wandering around the battlefield, which is exciting. I got the Deathclaw Matriarch to go with my Deathclaw, so you know, when when you need more giant killer dragon monsters for the wastes, you've got the, the leader of all of them here too, which is gonna be kind of fun. And I might actually do up in a Mojave kind of wasteland look, because the Matriarch I feel like is a, an awesome um, addition to that. And then some more adventure stuff for uh, Elder Scrolls. It's been a minute since I played Called Arms, but there is the Dawn Guard, which is kind of the vampire hunters, the evil hunters, and the vampire core box now, uh, with a transformed and not transformed vampire. I'm pretty pumped about this. There's going to be a um, campaign uh, to play through, the narrative campaign for both these, and I'll play as the Dawn Guard against the vampires. So I'm going to try and get these guys painted up too. 
Last but not least, I managed to get my hot little hands on this, the new Battletech Beginner Box. Um, now this is a reimagining of the Beginner Box currently available. It has a Wolverine and a Griffin in it um, with a brand new uh, miniature in it, which is this guy right here, the Vindicator. Uh, it's being done to um, kind of celebrate the launch of the new wave of mechs. They're doing it all themed around mercenaries this time, which I think is going to be awesome because so many players played the uh, MechWarrior Online and MechWarrior like mercenaries games, and I feel like the the BattleTech fans in general love the idea of like forming their own mercenary company and going across the the galaxy. So I'm going to open this up and review it, um, which you'll be able to see in a separate video. But I'm super pumped for this, and um, I'm pumped for these new plastics. I, I also got my hands on this, which is hilarious. I think Randall sent along as a as a joke. This is my mercenary company. It's an urban mech company box. <laughs> and I didn't really know what to expect when I opened it up, but it's exactly what you think it is. It's just 12 urban mechs. If you're not a Battletech fan, you might not get the joke, but the urban mech is basically, it's like, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's like a, an urban pacification mech, so it's used by like police forces and like local forces to like crowd control and stuff like that. So it's good against like people, but it's not really designed for mech combat. This one has an AC-20 though, um, which is a huge gun for a tiny mech. And he basically looks like R2-D2. So he's kind of a meme mech in the background of the game. And so as a joke, they did a, a battle company of 12 urban mechs. So I guess this is my mercenary company now. Give me ideas for names. What do you call a company that's just 12 AC-20 urban mechs? I don't know, but I'm excited to be in command of it. This is what happened to actual Reynolds Rangers. <laughs> and then finally, I went to the flea market and for 15 bucks found these, which is a copy of the first edition rules for Battletech, a game of armored combat, and the reinforcements. It was all crammed inside the reinforcements box, but it's basically... It's the second edition starter set, which is actually just the first edition of Battletech, but before that was called Battle Droids, it had to change its name. Um, and the Reinforcements um, book, which is basically adding a gajillion mechs. And I thought it'd be fun to review this and do some games, because it shows that there's very, very, very little that's different between Battletech today, like I mean almost nothing that's different between Battletech today and Battletech in 1985. So, the, except for maybe all the artwork, which as you can see, clearly belonged to Harmony Gold uh, and wasn't supposed, to, wasn't supposed to be available for sale, but that's a story for another day. So there you go, another week, another 14 models painted. Uh, I'm super happy to be painting uh, with these new contrast paints and stuff. I'm excited actually to, to try them out in the squats tomorrow. And I'm excited to be painting new Battle Max. That Vindicator looks wicked. Um, I'm playing Ball War all weekend along with some more um, Infinity, and that's basically filling up my, my Saturday and Sunday uh, along with some more painting too. So big thanks for watching. We'll see what I get done next week. Till then I'm Ash. Have a Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games already recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.